Yeah, and I was actually kind of looking back, you know, kind of made me look back in the past uh, since 2019 and being part of, you know, yours is one of the, but one of your mastermind groups and just the growth that we literally both have had in the last two and a half years is just unbelievable. Yeah, it is. It's like your book, You Are the Brand. I remember you going through within the mastermind groups, kind of the development, the skeleton, the the naming, the all these different things for your book. And it's like, those are the types of things that we do in mastermind groups. Those are the things that we help each other with. And so it's, it's just amazing to see how much we've both really grown through uh, masterminds since 2019. Yeah, it's a fun, it's a, it's a unique, masterminds are an experience that are, they're very unique. It's unlike anything else, right? Um, we did that with my book. I was very open about the process. Uh, Robert Fukui, who is also in our group, I remember that call. We literally came up with his book title on the mastermind yep. call in 15 yep. minutes. He was like, that was worth the whole year. you know." And I'm like, yeah, it is because it just gives you so much clarity. Um, and I would say it's never a bad investment to be around good people, right? And as we get older and, and grow... We have to be more discerning about our time, right? Our energy. Um, but masterminds have absolutely been the number one game changer for me in my, like the biggest catalyst in my business. Um, and it's why I still do them. It's why I believe in them. It's why I'm in them. Yeah, same for me. I mean, I, I think if I look back, the single most impactful thing that I've ever done for my business, and this goes back to when I started my first company in the 90s, my tech company. That all came from being within, and back then we didn't know it. We didn't call it a mastermind. We didn't, you know, there was, you know, this back in the nineties, but I would have never come up with that company if I wasn't surrounded by those successful people that expected that type of success from me. So it, this goes back mm. for me, 20 something years of, of working in mastermind groups. And it is, it's, it's probably the single biggest thing that I've done from both a, I don't know, a, a personal development standpoint, but from a, uh, you know, business standpoint, biggest thing that I've ever done. And you know, you're, we're, and, and, you know, we just talked about, you know, Robert's book, uh, Tandem. I guarantee that not one single person in that mastermind group on that call that day would have come up with Tandem by themselves. Right. Nobody, I wouldn't have come up with it. No one would have come up with it by themselves. But as a group, we tap into that third mind. We tap into that, you know, that mastermind and we get ideas that we don't have when we're by ourselves. So I think again, I think it's one of the best things that that I've ever done. And how has it really besides that, you know, how has it affected your entrepreneur journey on on what you've done, you know, since you've been doing uh, masterminds? Yeah, I I always say Sean like I'm I'm essentially a solopreneur. We have a we have a small company, you know, everyone who works with me is on a contract basis. And um with that comes a lot of questions on, I get this a lot. Hey, how do you, how have you stayed in business for so long? Or how do you future proof your business? Now, I think I have a couple of skills, but I'll never forget, man, when I was in my twenties, so random, I was pretty involved in my church at the time. And one of my jobs, you know, being this younger leader was to like be the gopher for all the guest speakers. I'll pick them up to the airport, bring them to the restaurant, drop them to the hotel. And there's one guy who I got to know over the course of several years, he visited a lot. He was actually the king of a tribe in Ghana, in Africa. And I'd be driving around my little car and he'd be on the you know cell phone. You know They were like this big back then, you know, those brick cell phones. And he'd be on like the phone with like Kofi Annan from like the United Nations. And I'm like, what is my life right now? Like, how am I meeting these, these kind of people? And he said to me after he got to know me, he's like, hey, you know, I'm going to tell you, son, you're very talented, but life is 90% who you know and 10% what you know. And being a younger guy at the time, I didn't believe him. I was like, whatever, because all our lives growing up, we're just taught if we have the right skills, that's going to be enough to get ahead. And when I look at my business, this type of business, especially, um, it has been the relationships and the friendships that I've formed over the years that have allowed me to future proof and recession proof and technology proof my business. I know that at any given moment, if all that got stolen from me, if someone hacked my email list and all my social profiles and my podcast, I could literally go into my phone and I could have 20 people to call who I know I could say, I'm in need of work. I need to rebuild again from zero. Can you help me? And they'd be there for me. 
Um, and I think that's something that most people don't understand until they exhaust their current following or their database and they realize I've dried up. And they haven't invested the time to build relationships with others in a way that allows them to exponentially increase and expand, right? So for me, it's just been so fulfilling first to just walk with so many of these people who have now, like yourself, have become such good friends, right? 